In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a new ADX2 project. ADX2 is composed of an authoring tool, AtomCraft, and a runtime library, CryAtom. As a sound designer, you will use AtomCraft to create audio cues for your game. You will import audio assets, design interactive sound cues, and organize them into sound banks. You will then export these banks towards the game so that the programmer can load them, play the cues, and control them in real time using the CryAtom library. Ready? Let's start. The first thing to do is to launch AtomCraft. Go to your Cryware folder. Open the Tools folder and then the ADX2 folder. Double click on cryatomcraft.exe to start the tool. Now it's time to create your new project. Select File, then New Project from the menu. The New Project window appears. Name your project. Specify where you want to save it. And click the New Project button. The Add Work Unit window appears. For the moment, just click the Add button. Congratulations! You've just created your first ADX2 project. What you're looking at right now is the AtomCraft main screen. It offers a typical DAW-like interface while offering all the interactive features required to design an immersive game audio experience. The main screen displays the project tree and audio assets tree on the left and the details pane in the middle. On the top left are the global settings of your project. In the center left, you can see the work unit you've just created. This is where you will create all your sound banks and cues. An empty cue sheet or sound bank has already been created for you automatically. On the bottom left, you see the materials folder. This is where you can store and access all the project's audio files. The logging and bookmarking panel will display real-time feedback on your actions and allow you to jump to a specific item quickly. If this view does not correspond to your usual workflow, you can of course rearrange it at will. Finally, notice that in the top right corner of the main screen, you will be able to select both the target platform and the target language used when previewing and building the data. If you want to access the project folder that you've just created, you can either right-click on your project icon in AtomCraft, then select Open in Explorer. Or browse directly to your folder. In our case, it was created on the desktop. That's it for this tutorial. 